Hello YouTube, this is Time Itself bringing you a game of Domination on Rundown. To get a shutout in Domination, you need two things in general. Uh, that is if the team isn't either completely clueless or complicit in the shutout. Both of these things depend on the map and which side you start on. The first thing you need to do is keep the other team from taking the first point. Rundown offers opportunities for both teams to do so. From the A side, there's a box that can use as a reference point and shoot a grenade straight into the air, having it land on C. From the C side, you can uh, take a grenade shot through this window here, carefully aimed, and it'll land right on A. Once you've managed to keep a team from taking the first point, it's important to get them back into a spawn trap. The area behind A on rundown offers a really nice area to keep them stuck in. Using riot shields, my teammates have managed to take B already. It's really useful when you're trying to take a point out in the open like that. It is helpful to go ahead and take the point so that you get an alert if the other team starts to try and take it. Now, there are a lot of spawn points behind A on rundown, so it's easy to let people slip by if you're not careful. At the same time, you don't want the other team to get too comfortable back in their own spawn. Since there are so many spawn points behind A, two or three people can be back in there and causing confusion, and there's not much of a chance that you'll bump the spawn point somewhere else. At this point, however, I'm going to keep running my Marathon Hardline Assault Rifle and try and take anybody out who starts to get around, like this guy here. I'll also drop some C4 on the point in the back occasionally, just in case someone does get back there without us noticing. If they do manage to take C, the spawn's going to move back there, and you can camp him back in there, but it's not as good as A, and it's a lot harder to dominate. That is some terrible shooting. Wow. I guess since he was a sniper, he was trying to get back above C and snipe from there. Uh, it's not really a good choice, though, since so we just turn around and take him out. He needs to take the point, and he's probably not going to do that with the sniper rifle. Now here, I have to resist the temptation to run over to the other side of the map and try to get some kills from over there, since that's where all the red dots are. I, I need to do my job and hold down this side of the map, at least not go past that wall there. I suppose it's a good problem to have when you pull out your laptop and see the red boxes of your predator and see your teammates predator kill two people from there. Uh, it's a good problem to have, I, I can't complain about it. Why does this guy have to be a sniper? I want to take his gun. But I'm hardline, so I don't really want to snipe a rifle. It puts me onto my noob tubes. These guys are already getting dominated and shut out even. Kind of a mean thing to do, but uh, yeah, you gotta work with what you've got. The whole situation has me somewhat confused. I'm listening to my teammates talking, trying to decide where I need to go to noob tube some people. I kind of just wander around the building aimlessly for a while. I'm not really that desperate for a kill, but I see my teammates in a little bit of trouble. Well, you know, I do the friendly thing and noob tube them both. I wouldn't want him to kill my friend and not die, would I? Okay, I have an issue with this window. There's a picture frame in the back that doesn't quite show up from here, but it does as you get closer. I'm not sure if I saw that guy when I was playing this game or not, but the picture shows up right where he did and right about the same distance. If I did see him, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. Something about draw distances, I guess. Oh well. So oh, here we are, about the halfway point in the game. Things are going pretty well, we just need to keep doing what we're doing. And uh, we actually have all five original players we started with. That's a bit of a surprise. Normally people will quit out of a game if they're getting dominated, even if they're going for kills, because if they're stuck in that spawn trap, they're not doing too well. That's why I really don't understand people who do play domination for kills. If you're just going for kills, you're not going to have control of where you're spawning, and you're probably going to have issues keeping a positive KD. There might be one guy in the back who manages to use his teammates as indicators of where the enemies are and then stay alive, but that's about the best you'll typically be able to do. They might start out going pretty well as they try to camp in around a point, but eventually they do get pushed back into a spawn trap, and from there it's just pretty much game over. What I'm really trying to say is that you want to help yourself and your team all do pretty well in the KD category, you're also going to be playing the objectives. Once you've got control of the situation, if some people like running in there and taking out a shotgun or a attack knife and doing that, they can do that. Some people like sitting back with assault rifles or light machine guns, and they can do that too. It works out pretty well, but you do need to have control of the situation. Things like keeping a constant flow of UAVs in will really help the entire team. Air support doesn't have to be the big impressive stuff like pay blows, chopper gunners, AC-130s. Uh, with just the UAVs and counter UAVs will really go a long way. Once you're not tied down to the long kill streak, 
you can be a little more aggressive. Go deal with the objectives when you have to and not worry about just trying to stay alive. In the end, keeping that spawn trap up is probably the best thing you can help your team do just to go positive and keep control of the game. It would appear the limit is two Harriers and one helicopter on this map. That's quite a bit of air support, though I'd probably still call in my other Harrier if it let me. There is no such thing as too much firepower. With that in mind, I'm just going to sit back with this machine pistol, and that's all I have, and see if I can't get my favor yet. The really sad thing here is that if they made a organized push to A, three or four guys could probably take it. You know, we might be able to take it back pretty quickly, but they'd still get several points. But it appears they don't have any interest in prolonging this game, so we'll go ahead and finish it right up. This game is only six and a half or so minutes long, and trying to get a lot of kills out of it is kind of tricky. So we're competing with each other and the clock for kills. It's a longer domination game could easily run over ten minutes. We just have to try and use the control of the spawn to kill them as many times as we can before the game is over. The game does end just in time, because it looks like someone just spawned on the other side of the bridge. Just randomly firing into the air there. That would be the first step to the spawn actually changing over to the seaside. Anyway, there's a shutout. Thanks for watching. Ha, ha, ha.